yesterday I was discussing with some people in San Francisco and said, you know, that you had, that you had said that um, insight changes the brain cell. You know, and they felt very interested, but I wasn't able to say a lot more. <laughs> I wonder if uh, we could discuss that. As it is constituted, the brain has function in one direction, memory, experience, knowledge, and has functioned in that area as, as much as possible. And most people are satisfied with it. Well, they don't know of anything else. Anything else. And also, they have placed knowledge as supremely important and so on and so on. If one is concerned with a fundamental change, Where does one begin? I suppose X feels he going along a certain direction set by mankind and he has been going there century after century. And when he asks himself what is radical change is it in the environment? Is it in the human relationship? Is it a sense of love which is not in the area of knowledge and so on? Where is it to begin? You understand my question? Unless there is some mutation takes place inside here, inside my mind, brain, I'll go on, I may, I may think I've changed, or it, or it may be a superficial change, but it won't be change in depth. Yes, well, I think the first thing is to say that uh, what's implied there is that uh, the present state of affairs de uh, involves not only the mind, but also the nervous system nervous and system. the body. Of course, on that side. All is set in a certain way. Yes, that's what I meant. The whole movement is a certain way. Yeah. And I, along that way, I can modify, mm, mm -hmm. adjust, polish, a little more, a little less, and so on. But if a man is concerned with a very f radical change, where is he to begin? That's As we said the other day, we've relied on the environment to change us, society to change us, uh, various forms of disciplines and so on, but I feel they're all in the same direction. Yes, well, insofar as they all emanate from the same way the mind is set and That's the body right. is set, they're That's going right. to not change That's anything. Right. No. There's a total uh, structure involved which is in the brain, in the body, in the whole of society. Yes, yes. Now, so what am I to do? What is X to do? And he's asking this question, what, what is there to change? You understand, sir? 
What, what do you mean by that? What is there to change? What is to be changed? Or? Yeah, what is to be changed? Both what, what is there to be changed, changed and what is there to change. To make the change? You yes. Mean, to make the change. To make the change. Yes. Not only to make the change, but... To undergo the change? Yes. What, basically what is there to change. I see, I mean, X sees, it could change certain things along this way. But you go much further than mm -hmm. that. What is what to do? I'm sure man has asked this question. You must have asked it, philosophers have asked it. But apparently the mutation doesn't take place. So what am I to, what is X to know? He, he realizes the need for a radical revolution, a psychological revolution. He perceives, the more he changes, it is the same thing yes. as the old. More he inquires into himself, if the inquiry is still the same, and so on, so on. So, what is there? to change. Unless I find, X finds a, a way to change the brain itself. All right. Uh, but what will change the brain then? That's it, that's it. The brain that has been set in a pattern for millennia You see it? Yeah. I think it's no longer, why should I change? It's imperative that I Yes, well, say in discussing yesterday, it was agreed that there must be a change, but yeah. uh, there was, no, the question is, how can the brain change, you see? That's right. I mean, I, one must introduce to come to that point. Yeah. If this question is put to you as a scientist or as a human being who is involved in science, what would your answer be? Well, I don't think science can, uh, you know, it can deal with that because. Uh, it doesn't go far enough, you know, it can't possibly probe that deeply into the structure of the brain anyway. And, and um, you know, there many questions are puzzling there, the relationship of brain and mind, which science has not been able to resolve. Uh, see, uh, some people would say that there's nothing beyond the brain, and yes, therefore there's I no meaning to your question, to right? Purely materialistic, I understand all that. Yeah, now, so if it's not materialistic, then for the moment science would have very little to say about it. Like maybe some people would try to, but <clears throat> you see, science generally has been most successful and most systematic in dealing with matter. And any attempt to do otherwise is not very clear. You know? Quite, quite. You tell me, I'm the, I'm the ex, you tell me, insult changes the structure in this brain cells mm -hmm. and so on. My immediate question is, answer, response to that is, How? 
Yes, I mean, well, that's what everybody asks, you know. Yeah, that's it. Everybody asks. Oh. It's not a matter of faith. It's not a matter of uh, of changing the pattern to another pattern. So you leave me without any direction, right? Right. You leave me without any without any instrument that can penetrate this. Yes, except that you're implying that there is something beyond the brain. It seems clear that in putting that question... But I don't know if there is anything We don't know, but I mean, the very, the very statement implies that insight is somehow beyond the brain, or else it couldn't change the yes, brain, right? Yes, So how... that's it. Hmm. <laughs> how am I to capture it? No, I can't capture. Mm, no, how will we? No, how will it come about, right? Yes, how these this to come about? <coughs> but I think that you know, one should clear up that you're, are you, you're saying that something which is non-material can affect matter. You see, this is the implication. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I mean, it's, I think clearing this up would help uh, make it more clear what your question is. You see, uh, see some. It's somewhat puzzling if we don't. Now, all that you have said to me is insight mm -hmm. changes, brings about mutation in the brain. Yes. Now, can you explain what your insight is, which is not a result of progressive knowledge. Yes. It's not a progressive time, mm -hmm. which is not a remembrance, which is not. No, which may be, you point out, which may be the real activity of brain. All right, you say, let's put it differently, that the brain has many activities which include memory and uh, all these you've yeah. said. And in addition, there's a deeper or more inward activity, but it is still the activity of the brain. Then it would be the same. Yeah, well, all right, but you see, that's what's not clear. You see, in putting this thing, Something seems to be not quite clear. Yes. No, I must be very clear that it's not the result of progressive knowledge. It's not come by through any exercise of will. Yes. But I think people can generally see that insight has comes in a flash, it does not come through will, you see. Uh, yes. And uh, most, I mean, those who have considered it at all can see that. But also that probably chemistry won't bring it about drugs, you know. Yes. I think most people see that, yeah. not most. I but mean, those some, who are concerned. Yeah. Some people do see it. How am I, X, to have this insight? I see your logic, I see the reason, I see, you follow all this. Uh, I mean, in some ways it may disturb people, it's not clear what the logic is, and saying, what is going to make this change in the brain? Is it something more than the brain? Is it something deeper in the brain? You see, this is one of the questions which, well, of course. which is not quite clear logically. Are you saying, sir, that there is a function of the brain which acts without reference to its content? Huh? Is there a function of the brain, a capacity in the brain, to act without any reference to its content? To the part, to its other, its to the other, to the content. Yes, okay. it bypasses, it would... acts without it. But the, this isn't something that is changing the whole brain coming into the brain, but it is a capability of the brain to Now you're asking something quite... Mm -hmm. Is that it? Is that what it is? 
Well, that, that's a good question. Yes, and it'd be, it's on the right line that, as far as I see. And, uh, is there a function in the brain which is independent of the content, you know, which is not conditioned by the content, but it might still be a physical function? I mean, yes, I understand. Hmm. I understand the question. Like yoga. Yeah, sir, if I'm, is, it that you, is this the question? Apart from the consciousness with its content, is there in the brain an activity which is not touched by consciousness? Rather by that, by the content, you mean? By the content, yes. Yeah. Content is the consciousness. Yes, but sometimes you use it in another sense. So if, if Sometimes you talk with a consciousness, there could be another kind of consciousness. Yes, but we leave that for yeah, but, So if we called it content, it would be more clear. All see. right. Part of the brain which is not touched by the content. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then we could start there to say that that... That, raises, that suggests that it may be possible for the brain to change. You see, that either the brain is entirely controlled by its content or in some way it is, has a, it is not that conditioned. It has some... I, that's a dangerous thing. I, what I mean, but that's, that's what you're I, saying. I'm seeing the danger of it. I'm <laughs> moving away from it. Uh. I see the danger of admitting to myself... Hmm, <coughs> and so trying to tell somebody else, admitting to myself that there is a part of the brain... Or a function, you know, an activity. An, act, all right, an activity of the brain which is not touched by the content. Or at least it's a possible activity. It may be that it has not been awakened. It has not been awakened. Mm. <laughs> That's right. Mm. But, but what is the danger? That's simple enough. The danger is that I am admitting there is God in me. That there, there is a, that there is some superhuman, uh, super uh, something beyond the content, and therefore that will operate on this, or that will operate in spite of this. But. Which part of the brain sees the danger? Is it that part? Now slowly, slowly. Which part of the brain that sees the danger? Of course, the content sees the danger. Does it? Uh, yeah, because the content is aware of all the tricks it has played. Mm. Yeah, that's a similar to many of the old tricks. Yeah, it? yeah. But, a, but go ahead, sir. Go ahead with the opportunity. Well, I just say that those tricks we've discussed before, namely that we assume the assumption of God within and then the imagination of God within and therefore the apparent proof. You know, there is a danger, obviously. But, you see, could the brain, seeing the danger, mm -hmm. make that statement nevertheless? Because that statement nevertheless might point you to the right direction. Mm. Yes, I mean, the point is, even though it's dangerous, it may be necessary to do so, yes. it may be on the right track. No, no. The danger is that it's not only traditional, mm -hmm. not only man has thought about it, and mm, previous to X, has said, this thing exists, therefore the unconscious, which part of the content, is capturing that and says yes. Mm -hmm. the, so it sees the danger instantly. Mm -hmm. It sees its own trap. Yes, it's, it sees the trap which it has created. Yes. Right, sir? Right. Yeah. So it avoids the trap. Well, that's sanity. Mm -hmm. To avoid a trap is sanity. Yes. Yes. Is there an activity which is totally independent 
of the content. Which is, which must, which we are saying, that activity, is it part of the brain? Is it a natural activity of the brain? Yeah, of natural, the material in the brain? Yes. Yeah, which means what? Well, if there is such a natural activity, it could awaken somehow, and that activity could change the brain, you see, it could change... Uh, but it is still, would you say it is still material? Yes, so that uh, there could be different levels of matter, you see. That's all, that's all I'm trying to get at. Yes. Right? Right. But you see, if so we think that is. way, there could be a... <laughs> There could be a deeper level of matter which is not conditioned by the content. You see, for example, you know, we know matter in the universe is not conditioned by the content of our brains generally. And there could be a deeper level of matter not conditioned that way, which could uh, take a. So, so it would still be matter. Yes. Refined or super or whatever. It's yeah. still that. What I'm. Right. What I'm trying to find out, it would still be con the content. Well, why do you say that? You see, you have to go slowly, because why, do you say matter is content? Yes. Inherently, but you know, then you have to, you know, then that will, has to be cleared up, because let's, it's, let's not, clear it's not obvious, story. right? Let's discuss it. Let's clear it. It's yeah. not good this. Mm -hmm. Thought is matter. Well, all right, thought is part of the content, it's part of a material process. You yes. see, whether it exists independently as matter is not so clear, you see. Like if you say water is matter, then you can pour water from one glass to another. It has an independent substance, but it's not clear whether thought could stand as matter by itself, except with some other material substance like the brain in which it takes place. Is it clear what I'm I don't quite follow. You see, if you talk, see, if you say water is matter, Mm -hmm. then it's clear. You say you could take a g water and it stands inside wherever it is in the ocean. Uh, now, if you said thought is matter, then thought must have a similar s independent substance. I don't quite follow this. Sorry. Well, you say air is matter, right? Mm -hmm. Water is matter, right? Now, waves are, form are not matter, but they're just a process in matter. Right? Yeah. Is that clear what I mean? Yes, wave is a process in matter, in matter, a material process. Now, is thought matter or is it a process in matter? Ah. May one ask, is electricity considered matter? Well, if insofar as there are electron particles, it's matter, but it's also a movement of that, which is a process. So it's two things. It's well, it can, it can form waves of electricity and so on, you see, as the waves well. Waves would be the matter, but not the electrical action. Well, the electrical action is like a wave, but you see, the electricity is, consists of little particles. Right? Sir, what is your question you just asked me? Is, is thought matter, or is it a, a process in matter, for example, in the matter of the brain, or elsewhere? Is thought a... Oh. Is thought a material substance, or is it a process in some other material substance, like the brain? It's a material process in the brain. Yes, that's right. Yeah, people would, scientists would generally agree with that, you see. If you say... Let's, let's stick to that. If you said it was matter, they would become very puzzled, you see. Yeah, yeah. I it see. It does exist apart from the brain cells. Mm. It resides in the brain. It's, it's that is, thought is a material process in the brain. Yes. Yes, I, th that would be right. Yes. I must be... I. I must go into it. Let's make an irrelevant joke. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> material process in the brain. That's quite right. Then, can that material process, is that material process independent? Can that material process ever be independent? Independent of what? Independent of something that is not a material process. Mm -hmm. No, wait, wait, I must go slow. I know, yeah, what, I'm trying, I yes. know what I'm trying to express. Mm. I must be careful. 
<coughs> That's all I know. Right? right. Well, the material not... process in the brain. Yes, okay. To which we all uh, you we agree. Yes, I you would get fairly wide agreement on that. On that, yes, yes. Our question is, can that material process in the brain bring about a change in itself? That's the question, yes. Yeah, which means, huh? In itself, and if that material in itself can change, it will still be a material process. Yes. Right? Well, the thought is always going to be a material. It's inherently yeah. a material process. process. So it will still be a material process. Yes. And therefore it's not insight. We must come back to that All right, point. now you're saying insight is not a material process. That is what you're saying. I just want saying. to go slow. Uh, by saying therefore. Huh? And I know. I'm sorry. I must be careful using right words. Mm -hmm. A material, the thought is a material process in the brain, and any mo any other movement springing from that material process is still material. Yes, process. it has to be. Has to be right. And is there another activity which has which is not? A material process. Right. Well, of course, people have asked that question for ages. Uh, yeah, I know this has been. Yeah, I mean, the, no. whether there is spirit beyond matter, right? Yes, yeah, I know spirit, Holy mm. Ghost. Mm -hmm. Is there a pro is there material process in the brain? Is there some other activity which is. It cannot be related to this. To the material process. Well, it cannot depend on it. They want to put it. As the, the, this insight cannot depend on the material process, or right. else it, it, it would right. be just another material another, process. Yeah. So, it cannot, right? It cannot be dependent yeah. on the insight is not dependent on the material process. Yes. Which is thought. Yeah. Yes, sir. But you're saying the other way around, that the material process may depend on insight, may be changed by insight. Yeah. Ah, wait, wait. Material process is yes. dependent on it. Yes, that's what you're saying. And not that dependent on this. Yes, that's what you're saying, isn't it? Yes. Now, now slowly, slowly, yeah. slowly. Now, you see, uh, uh, yes, uh, generally speaking, people would not see how uh, something non-material could affect something material, you see. Yes, quite. It might be easily agreed that something non-material is not affected by matter, <laughs> but then how does the operation work the other way? What do you say? My bra the brain is a mit in part thought, thought is a material process. With its content. Any activity from that is still part of that. Yes. Right. Uh, now, is insight part of that? Well, we've agreed it's independent of that. Huh? It, we've agreed that it takes place independently of that, it can't be part of it. That's right. That's but, right. But, it, but there's something the other way that it still can do, uh, that huh? it can still act within the material process. That's the crucial. Yes. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It is independent of the material process, mm -hmm. but yet it can act upon the material yeah. process. Yes. Now let's discuss that a little. You see? Yes. Be careful. I must. We mustn't enter into the Holy Spirit. <laughs> no. But I'm going to. Generally speaking, in science, if A act, can act in B, there's usually a reciprocal action of B on A. We don't find situations where A acts on B and B never acts on A. 
I see, I see. This is one of the difficulties that can be raised. I but but A B can act on A. Yeah, but we generally we don't find this uh, elsewhere. You see, we generally find that if B acts on A, then A can act on B, you see. In yes, human relations, if I can act on you, you can act on me, right? Yes, yes. But if I don't uh, act, mm -hmm. if I want to say, we say human relationship interaction. Yeah, it's mutual relationship. Mutual relationship. In that relationship, there is response and so mm -hmm. on. Now, if I don't respond to you, to your react to your action, I am independent of you. Yes. Uh, yes. I think that in, um, if we're trying to make this clear in science, to, see, science generally finds that this situation is not possible to have a one-sided a one-sided action. Actually, quite I understand. I understood it. So you are. We are continually insisting mm -hmm. that the material process must have a relationship to... Well, an action, we'd rather use... The, see, relationship is an ambiguous word here. If you said action, it would be more clear. All right. What is it? The material process... Must be able to act. Must, must, must be able to act on the... On the non-material. Non-material. And the non-material must act on the material. material. Yes. But that would make them both the same. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, not necessarily. Well. You see, I, I th could, one, could one envision um, maybe that insight is a much larger movement than the material process of the, ma of the brain. And therefore, that much larger movement can act on the smaller movement, but the smaller movement can cannot act, act on the larger movement. Well, yes. yes, that's what we are saying. The same thing. Well, that's why that uh, that they, there's the uh, small movement has no significant action on the large right. movement. Uh, and, uh, like, you can have a situation if you drop a rock in the ocean, it, mm -hmm. you know, the the ocean absorbs it with no significant. That's right. <laughs> quite, quite. Uh, well, then they would still have an action among themselves that has only one action that is significant. Uh, no, 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 don't be careful. I don't want to answer to that too quickly. <coughs> Sir, love has no relationship to hate. But again, it's the word relationship. You see that uh, action. Hate, um, would you say hate has no action on love? Uh, no, they are independent. I won't. They're independent. They're independent. They have no action on each other. Uh, right. Uh, this is important to mm. discover. This love is independent of hate. Where they hate, the other cannot exist. Right? Yeah. Right? Yes, they can't stand side by side acting on each other. No, they can't. No. So when you scientists say A must have a relation to B, B must have a relation to A, hmm? right? Yeah. I'm, we are contradicting that. Love is well, not all scientists have said that, but I don't, of course, huh? a few have said otherwise. You know, if, if you, I don't like to bring in Aristotle, but he said there's, bring a, in there's, an, there's, Both a, of you. there's an unmoved mover, you see. That is, he says that God is, the, uh, the, uh, is never moved by matter. He's not acted on by matter, but he acts, do you see? So yeah. that's an old idea then, that there is, see, since that time scientists threw what out Aristotle. an old Indian idea too? They threw out Aristotle, you see, and said that's impossible. Now if I see clearly that love, uh, what, independent of hate, mm -hmm. hate cannot possibly act on mm -hmm. love. 
लव में एक्ट ऑन हेट राइट और और वेयर हेट इज द अदर कैन नॉट बी वेल दोस आर टू पॉसिबिलिटीज व्हिच आर यू सेइंग What are the two possibilities? When you said one is love may act on hate, or the other is they have no action at all on each other. Yes, yes. Now which? Oh, I understand. I understand. No, sir. Love cannot act on hate. Right. They have no relationship. No. But perhaps insight could. You see. <laughs> Slowly, yes. I'm moving. It's a way to yes. I want to be quite clear on this point. Violence and to be without violence are two entirely different factors, right? Right. the one cannot act upon the other no well in that case you could say the existence of the one is the non-existence of the other yes and there's no way to act together That's right. they cannot be there together yeah, absolutely mm. i'll stick to that so <coughs> where there is this material process in act in action mm -hmm. the other cannot exist Well, then you're going to say that about what what is the other this time insight or <coughs> yes i'm yes hmm. <coughs> but, but then that, that sounds as if insight cannot change that material process huh well that denies what we were saying before that there is an action from insight to the material process no steady Yeah. Yes. If violence where there's violence the other is not. Right? The no, I'm uh, non-violent. I mm -hmm. introduce that for non-violent. Whatever that is. Well, peace. Huh? Peace. Peace. Well, I know in yeah. order, harmony, right? Yeah. Where there is violence, peace cannot exist. Mm -hmm. But where there is peace mm -hmm. is there violence no of course not huh no so peace is independent of the other hmm? yes now we are are we saying <coughs> the material process being independent of insight well we didn't say that we said it might depend on insight yeah we suppose i'm saying yeah. suppose for the moment independent of the of insight then insight cannot act no that's true yes on the other if that's the case right if that is the case yeah Sorry. Let me take a breath. 
Right, you I think can. we'll rest, yeah. Just so we'll just rest a little while. <coughs> what? I say we'll rest a little while. Would you like a glass of water? No, thanks. Just, I know, it's just... <coughs> Not, not to discuss, but you've said so many, many times that uh, intelligence can act upon thought. Insight can act, can affect thought, but it doesn't work the other way around. You've said this in yes. form. Well, ignorance and intelligence. If intelligence can wipe away ignorance, oh, that's clear, but yes. ignorance cannot touch, touch intelligence, right? Right. Where there is love, hate can never exist, right? Well, as long as there is love, eh? Yes, I'm saying that. Yes. But if love... Can love wipe away hate? Well, that, we said, that doesn't seem to be possible. I mean, uh, it doesn't seem possible. Uh, because that hate seems to be an independent force. Of course, my, I, of course it is. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, you carry, just carry on two minutes. Yeah. Is there a question of volume then? What? Is there a question of volume? In other words, if love can't wipe away hate, can there be enough units of love to supply hate? I mean, well, that's what I'm saying. Are we talking about a physical possibility? Well, I think that hate uh, goes on its own independently. I, c I come back, sir. Right. <coughs> you know, that, that it isn't a... It has its own momentum, you see, its own uh, force of movement, self-movement. Well, that's right, that's well, that's what we've been trying to get at. You yes. see that there seems to be a, seems to be two different it seems areas. two different areas. It's an exploration. Yeah. <coughs> thought is a movement, and insight seems to be a non-movement, where yeah. everything seemingly is at rest and it can observe movement. Yes. Well, that that's what I, we're trying to get at. I mean, the, the notion of something which is not affected by uh, anything else. You know, w or anything else can affect it. But, but aren't they then saying, though, if you look at this love-hate thing, aren't they then in essence saying there's good and there's evil, and evil is a completely separate, independent force on, on its own, of its own? Well, it's independent of good, you see, that... Uh, <laughs> Uh, but, I but, I mean, but is it a process in the mind, or is it related to insight? <laughs> well, we're, we're coming to that, you see, that... Uh, we're, we're in the face of light and dark. The light yeah. appears, the darkness is gone, yeah. and where it's gone. But, but in a way, it's just like a pattern of duality, then, isn't it? When we say there's good and there's evil and there's completely separate, Sorry. and one is completely independent, well, one, where, one is the other, where one is, the other can't be, you see, that, that's all we're saying so far. Oh, no relationship. No. In any brain, yeah, or in, an, in any group or anywhere. Well, wherever there's hate going on in the group, there's not love, man. Sir, I just thought of something. Okay. <coughs> not thought of it, I just came to my mind. Love has no cause, right? No. Hate has a cause. Yeah. Insight has no cause. No, that's right, yes. But right? The material process as thought has a cause. Yes, so well, it's part of the chain of causation, yes. yes. So, uh, <coughs> That which has no cause, can it act ever upon the 
upon that which has a cause. Well, it might, and as far as we see that uh, the insight might act on uh, to change the... I just want to go slowly. Yes. You see that there's, we can see no reason why that which has no cause might not act on what has a cause. You see, there's no obvious reason. It's, uh, it won't happen the other way around. You see, what has a cause cannot act on what has no cause because that would deny the whole thing, right? Yes, that's right. <coughs> but apparently, I'm just used, mm -hmm. apparently the, the action of insight mm -hmm. has an extraordinary effect on the material process. Yes, so as to change the whole causal. Yes. It may produce, you know, it, it may wipe out some causes, for example. You, you no, know, it wipes out I know what wipes out. Right. Slowly, I won't go. Mm -hmm. Slowly. It wipes out <laughs> as insight is not is causeless, if it's not born out of cause. That insight has a definite effect on the on that which is which has cause. Yes, well, it doesn't follow, but it's possible. I mean, that's. Uh, I mean, you put it as if it followed necessarily, but it, it doesn't follow. So far, it doesn't follow that. But we say it's possible. No, no, I don't say it's possible. Yes, but I'm saying we haven't quite seen why it's necessary. <laughs> Yeah, well, let's, well, let's say that possible. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't admit a possibility in this. Well, no, we're just <laughs> saying that there's no contradiction when we say the word possible. We, I merely mean that there's no contradiction in saying that insight acts on. I see. I see. I'm saying. All right. All right. As long as we're clear on the word possible. Yeah. <coughs> no, we must be careful. Love being without cause and hate has a cause, yes. the two cannot coexist. Yes, that's, but that's true. That's why there's a difference, you see, between love and insight. Yes. That, that's why it doesn't follow necessarily that if something has no cause, it will act on something that has a cause. Yes. That's what I was yes. trying to say. I just want to yeah. explore a little more. Is love insight? Well, as far as we can see, it's not the same exactly. You know. it may, huh? Love may involve insight. Love, love is not identically the same as insight, is it? Love is... Uh, what is the question? Well, you asked, is love insight? Right? Yes, I asked that. Now, at first sight we see that they're not necessarily exactly the same thing. Why? Right, well, insight may be love, but you see... Uh, uh, the insight also occurs in a flash, you see, for example. You see, in a flash, of course. Yes. And that flash alters the whole pattern. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> but that flash operating on the whole pattern uses the pattern in the sense uh, in argue, reason, logic, mm -hmm. and all that. I don't know if I'm making much Yes, well, I think once the flash has operated, then uh, then the pattern is different, right? Yes. And therefore, the, it would be more rational. I mean... No, what I'm trying to say, you, you have a flash. Yeah. And when... But you can be logical. Yes, well... The, the flash may make logic possible because you may have been confused before the flash, you see. Uh, 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 right? Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aristotle may have come to the, all this by logic. Well, he may have had some insight. We don't know him. Is we he... don't know. But I'm, I'm, I'm questioning it. I'm questioning yeah, it. We really don't know how his mind operated because it only, you know, it's only a few books that, that survive. And uh... Would you say he has insight? 
by reading few books. Well, I haven't really read Aristotle directly, you see, so very few people have because it's hard, you know, and it's, it's huh? very few people have actually read Aristotle, what he directly said. <laughs> Most people read what other people say about it. <laughs> I him. see, then we're not. But there are a few phrases of Aristotle <coughs> which are common, like saying the unmoved mover, and he has seen some things, or at least which suggest that he was quite I, intelligent, at no, least. No, what I'm trying to say, insight mm -hmm. is... Not partial, ever. Mm. Well, I'm talking of total insight, mm. not partial insight. But, Krishnaji, could you explain that a little bit more? What do you mean by not partial insight? An artist can have a partial insight. Mm. Right? Yes, yes. A scientist can have a partial insight. I'm talking, uh, we have X is talking about total insight. So not, not uh, an insight confined by a certain area. Uh, it, total insight. You see, the artist is also a human being. So. But he, his capture of insight is part. Well, I don't, why, is that necessarily so? But you see, he's also you a human You discuss it, sir. Well, is it well. it's directed toward uh, art, painting, or whatever the art is. Well, that's, that's of yes, course, something well, different. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you, you mean uh, an insight that illuminates a uh, limited area or mm -hmm. subject. Is that what you mean by partial insight? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. directly then. Yes, so and it concerns uh, the value of Oh, and then what would be total insight would encompass The total human activity. Mm -hmm. Right, sir? Right, well, and then that, that is one point, but see, coming back that it would, uh, we were discussing before, that this insight would illuminate the yes, brain, yes. And the, brain, the activity of the brain, as he perhaps were saying, and in, in that illumination, it seems you're saying that the activity of the brain, the material activity of the brain, will change. Is that would that be fair? Let's go slow, slow. Yeah, because yes. uh, we should get yes. this point clear. Then we could raise the question of totality. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we're saying that insight uh, is an energy, perhaps, which, which illuminates the activity of the brain. Right? Yes. And in that illumination, the brain itself begins to act differently. That's right. That's all. You're quite right. That's what takes place. Yes. <coughs> Now, this illumination, we say its source is not in the material process, it has no cause. It has no cause. But it is a real energy. It is, yes, it's pure energy. A pure energy. <clears throat> That's right, sir. And it's like saying that the, well, we know the lightning flash has a cause, but it, it flashes on the ground which is not connected with the cause of what's quite, on the ground. Quite, quite. <laughs> now, Iron filings all helter skelter. You put a magnet, suddenly they're all in order. Well, that's a cause, you see. That that's the magnetic field acts yeah. as a cause, you see. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's quite right. Uh -huh. Which means, is there action without cause? Huh? Yes. Of course. Without not. time, you see. Huh? And cause implies time. Time. Of course. There <coughs> that is this flash has altered completely the pattern which yes. thought which material process has set. Yes, could you say that the material process operates generally 
uh, operates in a kind of darkness. In darkness, all right. And therefore it has set itself in a yes, wrong sir. path. Yes, that's right? ignorant. That's what's called dark, in yeah. darkness. Yeah. The material process naturally, sir, mm-hmm. quite simple, that's clear. The material process acts in the ignorance in darkness. Mm-hmm. Right? And this flash enlightens the whole field. Right. Huh? Which means ignorance, darkness is being dispelled. Yes. Right. That's, I do hold to that. Yes, well then you could say then in that sense, um, see, darkness, uh, we were just saying, darkness and light cannot coexist uh, no, in the no. sense by ob- obvious reasons. Obvious, obvious. But, uh, uh, nevertheless, the very existence of light is to change the process of darkness. Of darkness, yeah. Quite right. I hold quite right. But what can trigger the flash? Well, yes. What? What will produce the flash? Wait, wait, I haven't come to that yet. Yeah. I want to be. I want to go step by step mm-hmm. into this. Otherwise, we'll get. Yes. Now, then, let's <coughs> make it very clear then that you're, you're saying that the process, the material process of the brain, can depend on this flash which has no cause, which therefore is outside the chain of ordinary material process. Yes, yes. Wait, now you don't know what, therefore we... All right, well, that's as far as we can say, right? So it has... No, so right. what has happened? Yes. The material process has worked in darkness mm-hmm. and has brought about such confusion all the rest of it the mess that exists in the world. And this flash wipes away the darkness. Yeah. Right? Which means what? The material process then is not working in darkness. Yes. Right? Right. But now let's make another point clear. You see that there is the flash, but it seems the light will go on. Light goes on. Right, but not in that immediate, another, I mean, it's still the light, right? Huh? Even the flash is gone, but the light is going on, right? Light is there. Yeah. Flash is the light. Yes, but now we have to consider that, you see, you have the flash now, right? Or at a certain moment. The flash is imme- yes. immediate, mm. but then as you work from there, there is still light. You see... You're... No, why do you differentiate flash from light? Well, just simply, the way the word flash suggests something that happens in one moment. Yes, yes. Now, and we should clear this up, you see. And then we're saying your insight would only last in that moment. Uh-huh. Now, let's clear it up, right? Yeah. Can we call it sudden light? I know. We just, we just went down go slowly. Yeah. What is this, sir? Well, it's a matter of language, you see, if we don't... Is, that, is it merely a matter of Maybe not, maybe not. But we must, our ideas, our way of looking, you see... If you use the word flash, like the flash of lightning gives you light for that moment, but then the next moment you're in darkness, right? Yeah. Until the no, next flash of like lightning. That. It's right? not like that. Right. So what is it? Is it that the light suddenly turns on and stays on? You see what? That? The other view is to say the light suddenly flashes on and stays on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, it's not that. No, well, because <laughs> when we put that question, stays on and goes off, yeah. you're... you're, you're Thinking in terms of time. Yes, well, we have to clear this up because the question is one that everybody will put, you see, unless yes, you Yes, sir. Clear. The material process is working in darkness, in time, mm-hmm. in ignorance, and so on, in knowledge, ignorance, all that. When that insight takes place, there is there is the dispelling of the darkness. Yes. That's all we're saying. But the material process... Wait, wait sir. The way I'm coming... Dispels the darkness. And thought, which is material process, is no longer working in darkness. Right. Therefore, it, the, that 
um, that light has altered, has ended, no, has ended ignorance. Yeah. All right, so we say this, this light has, this darkness is really um, something which is built into the content of thought, right? Content, content is dark. Yes, that's right. And, uh, uh, like Joe Williams, huh? And then the light has dispelled that, con uh, the ignorance. That's it, sir. That's right. And that's right. Dispel the content. But still, we have to be very careful since you still have content. You see, huh? you, you still have content in the usually accepted sense of the word. Like you know all kinds of things, you see. What, what, of, course, of course, of course. So we can't say it has dispelled all the content. No, no, no. It has dispelled the. I know what I'm. It has dispelled the the center of darkness. Yes, the source, the creator Which is of the darkness. Center. Yes. Right. Mm. It has dispelled. The center of darkness, which is the self. Well, we'll say that a certain content, the self is part of the content. Yes. And that part of the content, which is the center of darkness, which creates it. Creates it. Right. And maintains it, is dispelled. Dispelled. Yeah. The center of darkness, which has maintained the darkness, yes. has been dispelled. Right. Right, sir. I hold to that. Right. We're going on slowly. <coughs> and we say now that means a physical change in the brain cells. You yes. see, that, the, that yes. center, that content which is the center is a certain uh, set uh, form with the uh, disposition of all the brain cells. And that in some way alters. Of it. course, sir. Ob right. Obvious. Right. So this is so, it has enormous significance, right? Right. That is, <coughs> in, our, in our relationship, in our, in our society, in our everything. Now the next question is, which uh, Mr. Lilliput put, which is, how does this flat come about? <coughs> Let's begin the other way around. How does love come about? Huh? How does peace come about? Not peace being causeless, violence is cause, caused. How does that causeless thing come about when my when my whole life is hmm. is causation? There is no how, right? Right? There is no how. The how implies a cause. Yes. So there is no how. I must stop you a bit. Right. Good old friend. Huh? Are you saying that? Since it's without cause, it is something that just exists, and that uh, uh, I don't say that it exists. Well, That's a dangerous statement. Immediately. Well, it has to exist at some point. No, no. And it's no. Right, sir. Time. Moment you say it exists, it's not. 
Well, you see, the danger is that that is part of the content. Yeah. Be careful in these things. And well, quite right. If, you call it, if, if you're using it as content, I mean, if you're taking old concepts, but if you are saying, or if I can make the next statement, it, it say is, uh, and something the mind is is blocked, the brain is blocked from something that is without cause or without any time uh, uh, quality. That the brain is blocked. Is? Is blocked from... Don't the, use those words. No, well, no, I, no, no. That. And we've gone through all that. You're beginning all over again. No, we've gone through all that. We are... The question Dr. Bohm, David Rowe, are put, posed, was, what is the relationship between... No. Why do you say insight changes, brings up a mutation in the brain set? That was the question. That question has been put after a series of discussions. And we have come to a point when we say that flash, that light, has no cause. And that light operates on that which has cause, which is the darkness, which is the very... The, that darkness exists as long as the Self is, is there, is the originator of that darkness. Mm -hmm. That light dispels the very centre of darkness. Mm -hmm. That's all. We have come to that point. And therefore there is a mutation and so on and so on. Then the question, when, when uh, um, she put that question, how do I get it? How does it happen? Right? Yeah. That's all we are there. I say that's a wrong question. There is no how. There's no how, but there is there is darkness and there is what? There no, is no, light no. Darkness. Just see first there is no how. If you show me how, you're back into the darkness. Right? Right. That's all. That's Cause, yeah. that's a tremendous thing to understand that. I'm asking something a question, sir, which is Why is it that we have no insight at all? Why is it it doesn't start from our childhood, this insight? You follow what I'm talking about? Mm. Well, our, the way life is lived, it's... Uh, no, no, I want to find... Yeah. Is it our education? Is it our society? Is it our... I don't believe it's all that. You follow what I'm talking about? What do you say then? I wonder if you are making myself clear. Mm, right. It's some other factor. They are grouping after Let, Let's group off a little, right. bit, a little bit. I'm grouping after this, which is why don't we have it? It seems so natural. Yes. Uh, well, at first, when we say something is interfering with it, I mean... No, I don't want to... Then we'll go back. Mm -hmm. It seems so natural. Mm -hmm. I, I, for, for X, it is quite natural. Why isn't it natural for A, B, C, D, all the 20 mm. le 26 letters? Why isn't it possible? If we say it's the blockage, the education, which are all causes, right? Yes. Then to remove the blockages implies another cause. 
So we keep on rolling in that direction. Mm -hmm. I, there's something unnatural about all this. Because if, could we, if, we, if we would say that there are blocks... I don't want to use... That is, that's the language of the mm -hmm. <laughs> darkness. Then we would, because then we would also say that the blocks can prevent the insight from acting. I, no, I, of course, um, that's all. Uh, uh -huh. But I want to go for, move, move away from this blockages. Yeah, but well, not exactly blockages, but we use the word center of darkness, you see, which we say is maintaining darkness, that something is going on. To X, it seems so natural. Yeah. Why isn't it natural to everybody? You follow what I'm talking about? Yes, but that's the question. That's the question I'm asking. And you say blockages, the self, hmm? the um, society, environment, genetic, and I see those are all causes. Now, why, why isn't it natural to everybody? Right, sir? Right. Why is love not natural to everybody? Am I? Yes, well, question? I think you would, to make it more clear, you see, some people might feel it is natural to everybody, but uh, being treated in certain ways, they gradually get caught in, uh, you know, in, in hate. No, I don't believe it. No, sir. All right, but then you would have to ask, uh, suppose we were to say, no, sir. That the young child meeting hate will still uh, not respond with hate. You see, why yes. is that not natural? Yes, yeah. yes, that's right. Uh, that's your question. That's right. Whereas, you know, most people would say it's natural for the young child meeting hate to respond with hate, right? Yes. This morning I heard that. Yeah, you did, right? Yeah. And then I asked myself why. Mm -hmm. I, now, it, if you say it would be natural for to meet hate without hate. It seems so natural. Mm -hmm. Now, just wait. X has been put under all these circumstances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Which could have produced darkness, which could have produced blockages, which could have blocked all the rest mm -hmm. of it. But X wasn't touched by it. Mm -hmm. You for, I wonder if I may... Yes, well... Why is it not possible for everybody? Yes, well... You have to make it... I think that this line... You know, if we could say... We could, should make it more clear why we say it would be natural for to meet immediately, to not to respond to hate with hate, you see. All right. Even take though, limited to that. Yes, even though one hasn't thought about it, you know, one hasn't, you know, the child is not able to think about all yes. these things, you know. Why is it possible to act, you know, what is it? Well, why is it possible meeting hate not to respond with hate, yes. you see, even though a young child who hasn't thought about it, you know, he doesn't yes. know. Yes, right. He never Very thought interesting this. Yeah. Because some people would say it would be instinct, the animal instinct. If you Which are, is to hate. Well, to fight back. You fight see, back. The animal will respond with love if you treat him with love, but if you treat the animal with hate, he's going to fight back. Right? Of course. He will become very vicious. Yes. Now, some people would say the human being at the beginning is like that animal, and later he... Of course. He of can course they the, understand, right? Yes. That is, the human being began his uh, or the origin with the animal, and the animal, the ape or the... Or any animal, the dog, animal, the wolf. You know, uh, the wolf will respond with love too, you see. True, yeah. I saw that picture. Yeah. And we have seen why... Well, why, why is... It seems, see, look, almost everybody feels what I said is true, that the, we are like the animal when we are young children. Yes. Now you're saying, why didn't the young children, why don't all young children 
respond immediately, not, fail to respond with to, to yes, hate, with that. hate. Right? Yes, That means this is the fault of the parents? Well, what you're implying is that it's not entirely that, you see, that, that there's something deeper. Yes, sir. I think there's something much, something quite different. Yeah. I want to catch it. Yeah, well, let's see. This, this is something that would be important. Yeah. How do you find out? Let's have an insight. (laughs) (coughs) I feel that there is something totally different. We are we are we are we are attacking it from a from a causation point of view. Yes. Would it be right, sir, I'm just question mark, would it be right to say that the beginning of man is not animal? Well, that is not clear, you see. The present theory of evolution, which you know has been followed through no, all sorts no, no, of no, no. stages, there there have been, say, apes developing, and you can follow the line where they become more and more like human beings, right? Yes, I know. I'm for... Yes. Now, when you say the beginning of man is not animal, then it's not clear. I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, but. And therefore, if the beginning of man is the animal. Mm-hmm. Therefore, we have that instinct highly cultivated, mm-hmm. and that instinct is natural. Yes, and that instinct is cause and effect. Yes, cause and effect, and therefore it's natural. Yes. And somebody comes along and says, is it? Yes. All right, let's try to get this clear then. Uh-huh. Let's make this clear, because yeah. you see the... I mean, from all the scientific, historical, and um, all the archaeologists explored, we, they have said man began from the ape. Yeah, and who began from other animals. And other so. animals. And that as all animals respond to love and to hate, mm-hmm. we, as human beings, respond instantly to hate, I mean, but to. But, to hate by hate. Yeah, and to love by love. Yeah. Huh? And vice versa, to love by to love. To by love. Yeah. Could, could we say that this is a question which cannot possibly be, by, be answered by a scientist? We are scientists. <laughs> no. It depends on what you mean. <laughs> well, I, I mean it, in, I mean it in, the, mm-hmm. in, in that sense that... Um, uh, you, si- you see, science tries to, re- to uh, explain things through primal causes, mm-hmm. to, to, and uh, there you, the biologist would say, well, this kind of instinct has died out, it has died a natural death because man who responded to hate with love was devoured by the other animal or by the other human being. Yeah, that's one view that you could say that it was... Uh it would, it would not have been helpful for survival to respond to hate with love. Mm-hmm. That it would, there would, there would have been a selection of people who responded to hate with hate. That's <laughs> <what I'm thinking. laughs> uh. that, that's why I feel it's not mm-hmm. a question of that kind which can be answered by such an approach. So, at the beginning, there were people, or there were half a dozen people, who never responded to hate yes because they had love mm-hmm. yeah and those people few one or two had implanted this thing in human mind also mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. 
that you that where love is, the other is not. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that has also been part of our inheritance. Right? Right. Because those few said this mm-hmm. fact. And why haven't we, as human beings, cultivated uh, to respond to hate by hate, why haven't we cultivated the other? Well, you, you follow yes. it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and the other is not cultivable. They have tried to cultivate it. No, it's not... There's nothing. It's, it's, it's not, not cultivable. Cause. Well, it's not causal. causal. It cannot be. The cultivation depends on cause. On right? thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, why have we lost that? If this is so. Mm. But, but when you ask why have we lost it, then you could. Huh? If you ask why have we lost it, that it implies that we have sometimes. Had it, you know. No, no, I said no, you missed it. <coughs> Perhaps the, some the man... Had, yeah. huh? Some have had it. Yeah, some, that I said that, some X, Y, Z or A, B, C, when man began, mm-hmm. said, implanted in man this, uh, this thing, mm-hmm. love, which is causeless, which is... <clears throat> will not respond to hate. All right, that has been implanted. And we have cultivated very carefully by thought, respond to hate by hate, mm. violence by violence, and so on. Why haven't we moved with the, along with the other line? You follow my question? Yes. Is this futile question, sir? Well, you don't see any. Huh? I said one doesn't see any way of proceeding. No, well, I'm not trying to proceed. Yeah. I don't know those. I said that there's something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we have to huh? understand. As it's not, we have to understand why this thing. I mean, what, what made people respond to hate with hate, right? I mean, why they didn't go on? Why they didn't? Uh... The others to X. The others seem so natural. Yes. It never, it, it, to X, he never even thought about the other. Yes. So, if that is so natural to the X, why isn't it natural to Y and so on? If she is, is a freak, then there's no answer. Yes. That's a stupid way of pushing more. <coughs> There must be, if, if it is natural to exit, must be natural to others. Why not? Why isn't it natural? You follow my question? Yeah. Why? You know this idea? This ancient idea which is probably exists in Jewish religion and Indian and so on, that the manifestation of the highest takes place occasionally. You know, you are going yes, to I, that, that seems too, too, too easy an explanation. Have we moved in the wrong direction? What do you mean by um, We've taken the wrong turn. You mean mankind? Mm. Yeah, well, we've discussed that before, that uh, 
there has been a wrong turning, you know, that... Uh, Responding hate by hate, no? yeah. violence by violence, and so on, so on. Yes, and giving enormous value to... Th to huh? And giving supreme value to knowledge, right? right. All the same. Yeah. Wouldn't an another factor also be the attempt to cultivate the idea of love? Oh, that, that's, mm -hmm. that's nobody does that. I mean, so who says that? Well, people, you see, if you, if you read the, li the literature, then uh, people have always tried to really produce love, love, and better human beings. Then this is the and whole the purpose of religion. Yeah. It's the huh? purpose of religion, and it's the purpose of. That seems so. I mean, you can <laughs> wipe it out by one. It's a cultivable. What? By thought? Yes, that was the so idea. So, by thought, thought is a material. Don't go into all that. Thought is. No. But love is not. It has no cause. It is not cultivable. Full stop. Yes, but you see, the mind doesn't see that. But we explained all that, sir. I want to go into something, forgive me, not that, but I want to find out if it is natural to A, B, C, mm -hmm. why isn't it natural to X, Y? I think this is a valid question. Yes. Right? Yes, or even leaving the, uh, another point is to say that it, you could see that the re response of hate to hate is just makes no sense anyway. No sense. And why is why do we go on with it? You know that. Yes. Because people may believe in that moment that they are protecting themselves with hate, but of it course doesn't, I it's no it's no protection. Eh? Oh, please give me some insight. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very good question, yeah. sir. I think it's valid. ABC are, are born without cause, hmm? and X, Y, Z are caught in cause. They work around that way, those don't work on that way, act that way. So, why not X, Y, Z? That, you understand? I yeah. keep on. Is it the privilege of the few? I can't, that's a, 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 a. <laughs> the elitism? No, no, all that. Let's begin the other way around, sir. Oh. Hope it doesn't bore you. No, no, go ahead. My mind, the ex, my, ex mind is the mind of humanity. Right. We've been through that. The mind of humanity has been responding by hate by hate, violence by so on, knowledge by knowledge and so on. And A, B, C are, are part of humanity. Yes. That A, B, C don't do not respond to hate by hate. They are part of me. Hmm? They are part of excess consciousness. Mm -hmm. Part of all that. Please. Well, see why is there this difference? Yes, sir. That's what I'm asking. Mm. One is natural, the other is unnatural. Why? Why the difference? Who 
is asking this question? Mm. Just a minute. Who is asking this question? The, the people, X, Y, Z, who respond to hate by hate, are they asking the question? Or A, B, C are mm. asking the question. Right. A, B, C seems to be asking. Huh? It yeah. would seem that A, B, C is asking this question. I just want no, to find It appears out. that way. I mean, huh? It appears that way that A, B, C have asked yeah. the question. A, B, C's are, are asking that question. But they're not different. You see, that we were just it's also different. saying that they're not different. That they're not different. You know, they, we say they're different, but also they're not different. No, no, of course. They're not different. Mm -hmm. uh, just a minute, just a minute. X, Y, Z say the ABC are different. Mm -hmm. ABC say we are not different. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. We are, you're, we are not different. Which means what? This question. How do you respond to it? Don't think about it. There is A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Yeah. X, Y, D, Z don't put this question. Only A, B, C put this question. And A, B, C say we are part of you. Yes, it's, 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 it's one mind. It's, uh, it's, that, that's it. It's yes. one mind. Yes, and how does it come that the, another part of this one mind says uh, no? That's, that's the whole thing. <laughs> Does it come about that one part of the mind says we are different from ABC? Mm -hmm. <coughs> of course, there are all kinds of explanations: karma, mm -hmm. reincarnation, blah blah blah. I, I remove all those explanations. What am I left with? The fact that A, B, C are different from X, Y, Z. And that is, those are facts. Now what? <laughs> right? They appear to be different. Oh no! They are actually different. Absolutely yeah. different. Not appear. I won't. But you say something. No, that's a say contradiction. A, you say huh? two different things then. Because you said before that A, B, C are saying they are not different. Yeah. No, I must be clear. Oh, A, B, C do not respond. Yes, but you see, I think the question we wanted to be sure we come back to is why do the, the people who cultivate hate say that they are different from those who don't, right? Do they say that? Mm -hmm. I think they do, insofar as they would admit that there was anybody who didn't cultivate hate, they would say, then they must be different. Different, so. yes. Because that's very that's yeah. clear, light and darkness and so mm -hmm. on. But I want to find out, is, are we moving in the right direction? What? That is, is ABC has given me that gift, and I have not, and I have not carried that gift. You follow what I mean? I've carried the other gift, but not this. Mm. Yeah. Why? But did you say, sir, that it is implanted in all of you, but it has? Of course, if if man began there, the animal, somebody there must have said, look. But in A B C. I'm asking that. 
later. Right. And my father has li I'm not talk I'm talking mm -hmm. respectfully, was responding heat by heat. Why has the son not responded in the same direction? Yes, I think that it's only a question of insight, you say, that, that uh, to... Which means what? He had insight right from the beginning. Yeah. You follow what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. Right from childhood. Mm -hmm. Which means what? What? That... I don't want to enter into this dangerous field yet. I well, maybe to later. Huh? I mean, what is it? Though? Well, perhaps you want to leave. <coughs> There's some factor that's missing, sir. I want to capture it. I'm not... Mm -hmm. You see, if... if that is an exception, mm -hmm. then it's no. silly. All right, so we agree that uh, the thing is, uh, is a, a dormant in all human beings. Is that what you want to say? I'm not quite sure that's what I want to say. But I meant that the factor is there in all mankind. That's a dangerous statement, yeah, too. Yeah, well, that's what you were saying. I know, but I'm saying, questioning. I won't right. be, I've been questioning. All right. But I'm quite sure I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but then we, we tried this and say it, has, it seems promising, but it's a bit dangerous. That uh, this possibility is there in, in all mankind, and so far as some people have seen it, we've said... Which means God is in you? No, no, it's just uh, uh, that the possibility of insight is there. No. Uh, yes, yes, partly. But I'm, I'm questioning all this, sir. Yeah. The father responds to hate and that. The son doesn't. Yes, well, that happens from time to time, you see. No, consistently from the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Why? Uh, it must depend on insight, uh, uh, which shows the futility. Why of did hate. that chap have it? Well, yes, why? And he says this is, seems so terribly natural. It, it must be what is natural is to everybody. Water is natural to everybody. Yes, but why isn't insight present? For everybody from yeah, the beginning, yeah, right? Yeah, that's all I am asking. Mm -hmm. So strong that even maltreatment cannot affect it. None, nothing can affect it. Mm -hmm. That's my point. I'm getting mm -hmm. at it slowly. Maltreatment, beating, put in all kinds of situations, mm -hmm. it hasn't affected you. Why? You follow, sir? Stop. Right. <laughs>